hi all so in this video we are going to see the difference between start process and start process link both are used to start a process model but both behaves a bit differently so to understand that we will try to create a simple example and then we'll start it so for that what we are going to take is we will take a user input form and we'll try to create a process model uh, with the help of that form and uh, the same process model we will trigger with the help of start process and start process link as well and then we'll see the difference between them so first of all let's create a uh, simple user uh, user input form for that purpose so we have created a simple user input form here and after that we will uh, map some values into our form uh, let's map only two values only uh, for the understanding okay our form has open let's take a form one column and here we will take uh, uh, two text boxes for example let's take it okay and two rule inputs also will make first uh, one we will uh, make it a name and it will be of type text and the other one uh, let's take email id so for the other one we'll take email and the data type will be text only for both of them fine and let's map our values now let's go to the expression mode and here first of first value will be name and the value that it will store is rule input uh, name we have already made rule input so it will store the data here rule input name and for the second one we will name it as email and the value it will store is a rule input email okay and it will also save into rule input email so that part is done and we don't need this section layout at all so let's remove it for now fine our simple form is ready and now we will create a process model because both start process start process link startup process so we need a process model okay user input form process model we have written a name like this okay and now we will create the process model as well so in the process model we will map this interface there and all these rule inputs will get converted into our process variables and then we'll uh, create a new interface and there we will uh, uh, map our start process and a start process link as well so uh, this process model has now started has now opened fine so let's map our user input uh, task here so user input task will be available in the human task okay or we can drag it from here as well okay so let's go back into our interface and in the form section we will map our uh, whatever the interface we have why is user input user input form let's click on yes fine and assignment is very important for the uh, user input form so let's assign it to the process initiator that part is done done now you don't know you will not see the question mark over here and now we will create our process variables so three rule inputs we have cancel name and email and we have to create three process variables to store the data as well so cancel will be boolean okay and this is done and after cancel we'll create name okay name is text parameter and after that we'll create the email id that is also text once we have created uh, the process variable don't forget to map it to your user input task because it is all these values are if you see here all these values are now empty it is not saving any data so let's map our values here cancel will be mapped to the cancel pv that's it and name will be mapped to name okay that part is done and email will be mapped to the email part 
okay so that part is done our interface is ready and now we will just take a uh, uh, what here we will take a script task okay and uh, just nothing much is here okay and here we will take an XOR get so kind like if user want to cancel it they can cancel it as well and we can utilize our cancel PV as well okay and now we will map it to here our simple uh, most interface will be ready now so let's create these two points together done and now let's click on cancel and yeah so here pv bank cancel we will map pv bank cancel is there if it is true then it will go to end node otherwise it will go to script task and this script task we can name it as a dummy as well because it is just uh, uh, trying to make a different path for the xor get that's all it here let's validate our it process model once everything is fine and some of the best practice like data management on all these things so let's keep it here and for the alerts so the alerts as well we can send it to somewhere but that's not needed now so fine so we can keep it default for now okay and let's publish our process model now our process model is published now the same form is uh, has been created now we will create another interface so that uh, there i will create two links for the start process and start process link and we'll call this process model okay and this process model uses a user input task which is there okay fine so let's create an interface as well okay and here we will let's name it like start process uh, ui something like this we have named it and now in this interface we will create two links here so that uh, we will be able to differentiate between them uh, let's take one single page one column okay this section we don't need fine and here we will take a simple column okay and we'll take one more column so that okay, fine now here uh, first of all we have to start process link and uh, these things we have to use so for that uh, for uh, link purpose we can uh, get this link from here as well so directly we can create a link here so the link part will be done here so this is start process link and what kind of link we want so if you click on link it will give you a lot of link one kind of link is navigation and one kind of link is action link when you click on that some action happens and when you click on this one so these things are there so we will create uh, here you can see like start process link is there so let's click on start process link and it will create the start process link and here we will create for the start process so start process like uh, you can say like it is only using save into parameter the difference we will see why it is used only in save or how it is used but for that we will create uh, take a very simple button that's it so uh, okay let's edit uh, our now uh, map our values here okay so first of all it was uh, start process link is there fine label we have done label part and this is the button and button is nothing but start okay button is start process okay a bank start process start process link is there and now here it is the start process link so here in the label part is done and process model process model now we have to refer our process model we have created one process model for the user input task we will refer the same process model in our interface so the process model to start how to refer that process model the best way to refer any process model is like by creating a constant so here as well if you go here you can you can create constant directly from here so for the start pro or or you can say here uh, user user form process model like this i have created a process model constant and will 
map our process model here what is name ys user input pro form process model that's it our process model constant is ready and it is already mapped here as well so that's the advantage of this and the same constant will copy it here and will paste uh, yeah so this is where so how to use this is the label style and the start process is used inside only a save into parameter in the interface okay so here we will use a bank start process and which process model we have to start this is the process model to start okay and uh, yeah so this link we don't need fine so let's align it okay a bit uh, to the center so can we align it to center let's see that yeah start process link has been aligned to the center and a start process is here now it is much better fine so now what we will do is if i start any process from here the interface won't give you the exact difference between both of them uh, we, we will go to the site for the better understanding uh, because here if I click on a start process link it is start the process in some uh, different window okay and uh, here it will just say action completed and nothing will happen it will just give me like this so to avoid that we will create a site for that and we will try to understand it okay so you uh, here it is start process just name it like this and here as well we will name it start process uh, okay start process link fine and here as well we can name it as link only and let's create a site for that in the site like it will be more clear to understand the difference between them and there as well there only mostly they are used for the records purpose hmm. so let's configure our add page so here we will name it a uh, page like difference or we can just say start process okay and this is the interface and we can select any uh, for example if i search any process or anything so we can select and which is the interface you want to start so i want to start uh, or i want to add this uh, this one start process ui this is the interface i want to map it here it will be mapped because we haven't created any rule inputs as well so it won't give me the error fine let's save our changes and we are now ready to see the difference so now let's see the difference now what is the difference between both of them so now our start process and start processing both have been configured so when i click on a start process let's see what happens if i click on a start process link so it will okay fine it has given action completed there is a slight difference why it did so let's uh, go to enable activity chaining it actually one process was started but since activity chaining is not enabled it hasn't taken that part so activity chaining is must now again so let's reload our site once again and now let's try to start click on a start process link so when we use a start process link then you can see here one form we have been presented with so whatever the process model what is the process model this so whichever the process model has been mapped with the start process link it will start that process and user will be able to fill the details okay because i have written and because at the rate email.com i have written and once the user finishes his work and click on submit or cancel button then they are back to the main interface that is the purpose of the start process link so now you can see here i am back to my uh, original uh, interface 
but if I click on a start process then you can see here something would have been started we don't even know uh, it has not said action complete or anything so some a uh, process is started in the background and it is completed so if we go to the process instances or we can go to the monitoring mode as well uh, let's go to the monitoring mode okay and here we can see the difference between them uh, one more process would have been started just now after this so if i use the here so this has been started but nothing is done because user input task is there user has to fill that data then only uh, it this process will get completed so okay now click on cancel user clicked on cancel and the process got cancelled but nothing uh, much uh, feedback we got from the process so if we see the actual difference between them then i have written it down as well so here like we can uh, if we here we can see like uh, start process is a synchronous process so what synchronous process like we have seen the difference as well like it waits for the activity to complete and then uh, then only it moves forward so it waited for the user action to complete and it uh, on the other hand start process was asynchronous in nature okay uh, we didn't get any feedback from that okay and for the start process link it defines a link to start a process so it defines a link it is a kind of link we are in the link it was used to define a process and whereas a start process is a function that starts a process when triggering from the interface that what we have done it started the process when we trigger from the interface and the most important point like where it is used the start process link you can see here users are shown start form after submitting the form user returns to the original interface that's what the main purpose it serves the start process link user will be get for example some data is there we have to edit the data so users will be able to edit the data then they will get back to the main interface where the actual data is there so in that case it can be used and whereas the start process like it can it, you can see like it maintains the original interface state after process is starts so even after the process start it maintains the user so generally that kind of process are used in the start process link which doesn't have any user interaction it just need to save some data or calculate something in the back end like this or doesn't contains any human interaction or user interaction you can say and start process only executes inside a save into parameter or a web api so save into parameter how it is used now only we have seen uh, in our interface as well how it was used inside a save into parameter in the uh, here hmm. here we have used inside the save into parameter you can see here and this is the process model that we have mapped our of web api so web api part we'll see later on so hope you understand the difference between the start process and start process link it is asked in the interview questions as well so that's all in this video thank you